and it was just like it looked like a tin can somebody crumpled up. Yeah, it was not it was not undescribable. It was not a car. Stephen Hill says it's nothing short of fate that he was on this stretch of road right next to I-95 at exactly the right moment this morning. The gravity of it is like, wow, you know, I was there. God put me there for a reason, put me and Jason there for a reason, obviously, to save that little baby. He and Jason Nelson decided at the last minute to drop their moving trailer on Western Way rather than just go to sleep for the night. Thank God, it was like perfect timing. Initially, the pair only saw the driver of the car. So then I go over to, to it and I look and I'm yelling, sir, sir, are you okay, are you okay? And nothing, didn't hear anything. The main purpose was to get this gentleman out that was deceased, we knew he was, by just looking at him. And I'm on the phone with 911. Steve noticed that there was a baby in the back seat. And uh, he's like, oh my God, there's a baby. At first we did not see the baby. The flames were up, like they were up. Just without thinking, jumped back there right over the, the deceased father. And, and so he hopped in there with the flames and everything. But that harness, I couldn't get it. It was melted or what, but I grabbed it and, you know, and I wasn't going to stop until I got that baby out of there. Literally trying to get it, he's, he's freaking out because he couldn't get it. And he was uh, just really freaking, he's like, I got to get this baby out. Because there's no way I was going to let no baby die. I, I, there's no way. I would go, I would not let her burn. I'd burn first for sure. All of a sudden, Steve has the baby and he comes out. You know, she was cooing and crying a little bit. And Steve's yelling, get the guy out of the car. So then I reach in and I grab the seatbelt. We were like starting to pull him out of the car. The uh, gas tank popped and it, it, the whole back just engulfed. Like it was that quick. Neither man was injured, but the emotion of the morning is inescapable. And I mean, it, it was very scary. I think the scariest moment of my life. It, being that the baby was so little and the baby was moving so it was like we had to we had to do something and i'm just glad steve was able to do it because that was he just jumped right in that car and literally just grabbed that tried as hard as he could and got that baby out just a nick of time I just hope she's okay, you know, whether she does anything with her life, hopefully she has children of her own, that's all. You know, at least that, that's a great thing. <laughs> you don't have to be a president to be something special, you know. You need to be a mom and then a grandma. <laughs> that's special enough for me.